Welcome to the second episode of The State of the Cow. I am Bunny Williams, and I'd like to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. First thing you're probably wondering is, hey Bunny, what's with the hat? Good question. Well, as you might know, blonde or gray hair like mine doesn't key out very easy, and I wasn't happy with how choppy my hair looked in the last State of the Cow address. So I had a couple of choices. Become a better keyer? color my hair, or wear a hat. So I took Johnny Tango's hat. <laughs> uh, it looks like I might have found some space to finish shooting smoke and get Sheila's demise in the can. Uh, I'm making a deal with a local, uh, another local filmmaker, Leon Welling. He's the father of the web series We Do Monsters. Check it out, I'll have the link down here below. Thanks Leon, hope we can get this taken care of. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to introduce somebody uh, who usually works behind the scenes here at Undead Cow Studios. The love of my life, Jeannie Shookman. Just wave and say hi. <laughs> That's why I'm behind the camera. <laughs> uh, Jeannie acts as my first, I first AD, which makes sense when you think about it. But with a small studio like this, everybody has to kind of pitch in where, wherever they can. Uh, I was going to introduce Amy Cates today, but she wasn't able to make it for this shoot. Uh, but she did recently take us out on a location scout looking for a cave that she had found not too long ago. Uh, I need the cave for a short film that I'm looking to do, which is an adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's The Outsider. So we were driving around all these great mountain roads and everything, and it was really a lot of fun. Um, I tried to get as much footage of that as I could, but as you can see, that footage was just way too shaky to, to be usable. I mean, even if I use something like After Effects to get get some of the shakiness out, it still the footage still would have had a lot of motion blur on it and really wouldn't have looked very good. But I was really kind of happy with the performance of the cameras themselves and I thought that when there was a spot where it was kind of steady, I thought it looked really, really good. Um, I have a couple of ideas of how to stabilize the cameras, um, kind of using socks and rice, sort of making a beanbag out of it to kind of cushion them down. Um, and we'll see how that works out on our next outing. You know, because I would really like to get that footage. And maybe we'll even find a cave this time. <laughs> uh, driving around those mountain roads, um, I started having an idea for another screenplay that I was thinking about doing. Because um, there was so much good scenery and we had found just a whole lot of things that would be really useful and really nice. Uh, so I was thinking of an idea for another screenplay that would be like even cheaper and easier to do than Reaching Heaven, which is the one I was talking about last month. Um, it would be a twist on the mad slasher genre. Uh, the first act is written and the I started working on the storyboards already. Uh, could use a little punching up, but you know, that's what rewrites are for. It's called It's Him and I'll have further, further details as that project goes along. I mentioned video of viscosity last month, but there haven't been any episodes posted yet. But rest assured, you should be seeing some episodes popping up in the next couple of weeks. Um, popping up on YouTube. They are already up on iTunes, so if you want to see them, you can subscribe to them in the iTunes store. You can search podcasts for either video of viscosity or Undead Cow Studios, and you can see them there. Um, over Halloween... Over Halloween, we went to the coffin races in Manitou Springs. Ooh, I'm missing a prop. Where's that book? Um, and we found this book, which Jeannie is currently getting for us, or trying to. Um, and it has a lot of different attractions, just really strange kind of stuff, all in the Colorado area. Um, so we are thinking about doing a, a show based around that, you know, just travel around. Ah, oh, there it is. Weird Colorado. Uh, 
<laughs> so this has a this has a lot of really interesting things. Uh, headless chickens, rocks that look like people, vampires, uh, all kinds of sorts of stuff. Coffins sliding down hills in rainstorms. Really neat stuff. So, uh, like I said, uh, we're thinking about doing a show based on that. Um, I'd also like to do a, a documentary on the coffin races themselves because it really was a great deal of fun. So I'll be looking at that and seeing what I could do there. The website and forums are back up. Uh, so stop by undeadcowstudios.com and interact with us. You know, post little things, we'll answer, you know, have some fun. Uh, the site itself still has places that are still under construction, and we'll be getting to that as time allows. So don't look in the closets, okay? <laughs> uh, we got a couple of emails. The first one is from Jack Mihoff 838 who asks, Hey Cow, are you planning on doing any features? Yeah, like I said before, right now I'm looking to shoot a, a slasher flick called It's Him. Uh, the problem is finding a great story that is manageable enough and cheap enough to shoot with such a small crew. Uh, a lot of projects go on the back burner because of that. <laughs> Jeannie is pointing at herself to indicate that we are the crew. <laughs> um, the Fartinator asks, what software do you use for those cool effects? Uh, it all depends on the look I'm going for. Uh, this set was built in Maya and composited in After Effects, which is my favorite. That's a really good tool, After Effects. The whole thing is cut together and you uh, cut together using Adobe Premiere. And graphics, graphics is just a whole lot of fun. So give it a try if you can. Uh, that's about all the time we have for this month. Uh, please send any emails you might have, any questions, comments, anything like that to undeadcowstudios at gmail.com. Uh, we love hearing from you. And, you know, as you can see, we'll read your emails on the state of the cow addresses. Um, see you next month and have a great Thanksgiving.